Hey guys, welcome to the video. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can create a 3D logo. And all we're gonna need is basically a JPEG or a PNG to do that. Now what we're essentially doing is we're gonna create a DXF. So if you've got Adobe Illustrator or another program where you can convert a JPEG image or a PNG into a DXF, we're gonna to have to use that in order to create our 3D logo in SketchUp. So I'm gonna walk you through all the steps in the process to do this and hopefully you'll be able to create your own 3D logo using SketchUp and either Illustrator or another software that you can convert a JPEG or PNG into a DXF. Let's jump right in and create our 3D logo. So the first thing we wanna do is basically find our JPEG or PNG image. So for that, I'm gonna jump into Google, um, use whatever search engine you want. And today I'm gonna to go for the Nike logo. I decided to wear a Nike t-shirt um, to honor Nike in this video. So we're gonna go for the Nike logo, maybe not the SB one, just the standard um, Nike logo. So I'm just gonna type in Nike logo, hit enter. And hopefully we can find a good image because I know sometimes um, you actually struggle to find decent images of logos. Um, so this one would do. And what you basically want to do is just find the kind of the clearest uh, logo you can get. So you want the crispest lines. So then when we trace it in Illustrator, it's going to convert to a better DXF. Uh, uh, so then a better result when we finally import it to SketchUp. So I'm just going to save this into a folder and we'll go from there. So I just had to use the snipping tool to actually save that logo because it was trying to save as a WebP file. Uh, I just wanted a JPEG, so I just used the snipping tool. And basically I've just got a pretty high resolution image um, that we can use to trace and create our DXF from. So now let's jump into Illustrator and we'll open this up in Illustrator and we'll create the DXF. So with Illustrator open, what I'm going to do now is actually open up that JPEG image that I just saved. But to do that, I'm going to go to File, Open. And then once I've found my logo, I'm just going to click on it and open it. So with your logo now into Illustrator, what we want to do is basically image trace this. And uh, to do that, you just click on the logo. And then up here, you should have image trace. I normally just leave it on default, but I think if you want to make it a little bit um, more logo-esque and a little bit cleaner, I'm just going to change it to black and white logo and we'll get our logo here. Now you may notice a little bit of roundness on some of the edges, so the edges won't be as sharp, but that basically all depends on how good your initial image was. Mine was probably not the best image, it probably is a better Nike logo um, that you can find, but uh, this will actually do and you won't really notice it once you get into 3D. So once I've image traced that, I then want to click expand, and that basically breaks up all our little lines and segments into separate pieces, and then we can um, ungroup it as well. So basically all we want is the Nike logo. We don't want this black uh, outer area. So now it's ungrouped, I can delete that. And it's gonna be hard to see, but I'll just change the color. I've just filled it in black so you can see it. So this is kind of our path that we're gonna create our DXF from. Uh, and I got this little section here that I don't need. So when you, when you do expand your logo, make sure you get rid of any parts you don't need. Um, so that little part in there, we didn't really need that, so I can delete that. And all we're, we're left with is basically a outline of our logo and from here we can convert it into a DXF. Now to save our path as a DXF what we're going to have to do is we're going to go to file and then export and then find where you want to save your uh, DXF and all you need to do is come down to save as type and change it to DXF. DWG would work also but um, for this uh, example I'm going to use DXF. Click on that and click save. I normally leave all these things as they are because it always seems to work out fine and then I'm going to click OK. So now we're going to jump into SketchUp and I'll show you how to bring in our DXF. So with our SketchUp model open, what we're going to have to do is we're going to go to File, uh, Import and we're going to click on our DXF. Now mine comes up with an Illustrator logo, yours might be a bit different um, but I can click on that and then click Import. It will, it will import it into our model. And there we have it, we have our Nike logo within SketchUp. Now it will be in its own group, which is actually pretty handy. Um, I'm surprised SketchUp doesn't import things not in groups, because I know, you know, SketchUp can be quite messy and I'm surprised that they actually do that. But that means when we click into our group, we can actually um, target each individual line, which is great. So the problem is we don't have a face at the moment. So in order to correct that, we're gonna have to go into our group, like I said, so we're just by double clicking there. And normally you just have to trace over a bit of the line and it should basically complete the face. So there, that's kind of completed that face. This section here needs to be its own face and we can get rid of that, like that. 
delete that. Now these are two separate letters, so I'm just going to do the same here. And the same here. So there's our logo. It's now a face, so that means we can extrude it. You may notice that there's a little bit of kind of low poly geometry, if that makes sense. So like this curve is not quite as smooth. And a way I can adjust that is basically just by drawing my own curve over the top of it. Um, so I'll probably do that just for this example. So we really join that to there. And now what I'll do is I'll just delete these um, excess lines using my eraser tool. And we should get a slightly smoother curve uh, than we just had. And there we go, I've kind of smoothed out that curve just using a simple uh, line tool using the uh, two point arc and we now have a smoother curve. So if there's any issues with your logo once you import it, you can always just adjust them using the pen tool um, and just make them look a bit more neat and tidy. So now from here we have a logo that we can then create uh, into 3D. And to do that, I'm just gonna use the push pull tool. Pretty simple stuff. So we could do, let's just do it there, 550. Copy them like that. So if we want to then move our logo, we can do so like this. Ooh. And there we have our logo. Now to make the logo a little bit less rigid, you can also smooth the edges. Now to do that, I'll just click on the logo, right click it and go to soften and smooth edges. And we can use this slider here to determine how, how soft we want it. Obviously we don't want it like that. And also coplanar will get rid of these. Um, I think they're kind of like 90 degree lines that kind of get rid of them as well. So that's a lot smoother. So that's going to help us when we want to render this and just create a smoother, nicer logo. So I'm going to have a play with this and I'm going to set it up in a little V-Ray scene and I'm going to do some renders and I'll show you what they look like in a second. So I've had a little play using the Nike logo and I've set up a little scene. I had kind of had the idea for having a floating Nike logo in a kind of mirrored finish amongst cactuses on in a desert kind of setting. So this is kind of the model at the moment, how it stands. I've actually got an infinite plane, V-Ray infinite plane. I used the dome light to create a different kind of background uh, to the standard backgrounds you get with V-Ray. And then these assets are taken from the Chaos Cosmos library, including this little guy down here, which I don't know why I added him. I just thought it looked cool. And yeah, so I wanted to do a Chrome logo, but I realized actually you can't really see it. It contrasts. Well, it does contrast, but it obviously reflects its environment. So it kind of almost looks see-through, but it looks really cool. Uh, I'll show you the the outcome. So this is one of the renders, obviously in the blue. This one stands out a little bit more. You've got the little doggy dude here. Um, he looks pretty good. You've got the Nike logo reflective, but then I couldn't decide on the color. So I've actually done a variety of different colors. Uh, this is kind of more the chrome one. I like this one a lot, but you can't really see this. And this might in fact be in my thumbnail for this video. So yeah, that's kind of it. That's how you convert a image, a logo image into a DXF and then bring it into SketchUp and then finish it off in V-Ray. Well, you don't have to do that part, but I've obviously done that part to show you what the results look like. Now, if you want to learn any more about SketchUp or V-Ray, I have some really good in-depth courses over on Skillshare and they are currently still running the one month free. So if you use any of my links within the description below and sign up, you get one month free to Skillshare. I cover all sorts of topics there. I cover beginner's guides to SketchUp and 3D modeling. Uh, also beginner's guides to V-Ray uh, rendering. So anything to do with V-Ray or SketchUp, I've got loads of lessons there. I've got some more advanced lessons as well to improve your skills if you're already using SketchUp and V-Ray. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. Um, if you could like and subscribe to my channel, that would be really appreciated because I'm just getting started here. And I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying making these videos and hopefully they're of use to some of you out there. Anyway, have a great day wherever you are. I'll see you in the next video and um, peace.